guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Sim World Pro, and we are here at Lake Boulder. Now, I have been looking back at the past episodes that we have been doing and looking at, and we've mostly been checking out each lake and some of the main features about that, that lake, as well as some of the equipment and trying to catch specific species but one of the things we have not done and I think I'm going to probably be focusing on for a while that is catching trophy fish that is the fun part of this game is catching the big guys and in this game what's really cool and they do this in uh, the catch carp and course is they actually name the trophy species the trophy fish species and it used to be on some of the earlier lakes when this first started, they didn't give them names. Now they do for all of them. And Boulder Lake has its own group. For each species, there is a trophy and they have some funny names. Now, I am determined to see if I can catch at least one, maybe two of them. So we're going to come in here. I think I'm going to start off at this dock because it's a pretty nice little dock. I don't know why that's popping up, but it is. Anyway, guys, it is sunset, a clear sky, and that means we should be catching some fish. And looks like I've got myself a little boat here this time. We're going to just give this one a try. This one is a little more interactive. And since we're not going to be going that far, it's going to be perfect for what we need. Yeah, I'm just going to be kind of fishing right over here anyway. That gun, it's darn near a kayak. It is a kayak. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and switch to fishing here. Now, right at those lily pads on both sides, these should both be good spots for both pike and bass and I think that's the setup I've got on here guys let me see uh, this the bass default and let me see what we've got as far as gear here looks like we get our Ned bomb grape soda tail the booyah double whittle bladed chartreuse and the booyah buzz lime truce we're just gonna give yeah, I think we can probably do better than this, guys, because honestly, these are not, these two are fine. I think I am going to change this one, though, however. And we have a number of new lures, lots of crankbaits. Now they categorize these, so it makes it a lot easier to find them. But I think what I'm going to do is I am going to try to find my swim bait if I can let's see here well, those are spinners and buzz baits spoons there it is let's see there's a couple of them here that I have to pay for but I've got this one I think I'm gonna continue to use that one for this we a double blade I think I'm gonna use a spoon instead Just have a little more luck with the spoons. The shattered glass a little on the big side, but if we're going after pike, we're going to need something that's going to attract them. And the booyah buzz, that thing is a killer. Everything goes for it, seems like. Any kind of predator, that's for sure. Well, let's try this circleistic swim bait. I don't know why that's back on again. They must have done an update. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take our real speed down probably to about two. And we're going to get this to stay in the green. And there are fish over there. Now I have, whoa, 
I have caught a number of trophy species. Can't really go to my trophy list right now, but in this lake I've caught a number of them. However, it was before they gave them names. So it just they're just kind of like a generic trophy. Here you have 22 smallmouth trophies. But this looks like uh, I think it's a large mouth, but it's not a trophy. Oh, okay, okay, come on. They are. Well, this guy is. There we go, we got him. Yeah, it's a large mouth. Four pounds, fourteen ounces. Kind of a typical one. Nothing to get all worked up over. But starting it off pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna let that sink all the way to the bottom. There's a few big ones down there. Now this is quite the decked out kayak, I tell you. <laughs> it's got fish finders, it's got motors, there's a fish right there. I'll tell you what, let's try over here. That was a good cast. Yes, they do. And this fella looks a lot bigger. I don't think that's a bass. Yeah, it looked a lot like a wall on me. I have those fins. And he's not jumping. So, yeah, I think we got us a wall out here, guys. Take the tension down just a little. He's giving me a good fight. I mean, usually walleyes eat pretty easy to get to bring in. And he is. He's got some oomph to him. Can't tell just how big he is. There we go. Oh, nice. That's a nice walleye. And he's a trophy. That's my personal best. Yeah, this guy doesn't have a name for some reason. I Maybe the walleye don't have a trophy with a name. Oh, well. At least he's a trophy, and he counts. Let's see if we can't find a named one, though. Let's try this Booyah Buzz over here. See if the bass go for it. I didn't think sunset was going to be so darn dark. I mean, a little bit, but... Yeah, but... Not like this. Yeah, pike would be nice, too. Well, not looking like we're doing much here at this point. Let's go back to 
Grabbing this sucker. Let's see if we can't find us a new spot. Oh, there's some big fish down there. Yeah, let me turn us around, see if we can't. something jumping here. Well, let's just try throwing it that way. Now this time I'm using the spoon. I'm gonna let that sink all the way to the bottom. Also notice the wheel speed data too, which is really good. There we go. About time. Ah. Long old scar. And they're getting a nice mix of species here. He's not too big though. The long sucker. <laughs> no, he is a trophy catch. I'll be damned. He didn't have a name either. Dang on it. 13 pounds, 3 ounces. Yeah, the name ones must be of a special category. Kind of like the boss fish in the catch. I think what we'll do is we'll move him out a little bit more. Now we're not going to get anywhere pretty anywhere quick, that's for sure. It's about trolling speed. Oh, I thought I had a motor. You pedal it. I'll be darned. Yeah, it's too bad you can't use this on some of those small lakes. Get you right out in there. Yeah, I think there's a little lagoon-ish type thing over here. be a good spot. Whoa, he was like almost next to the damn boat. Perfect strike.
Dang on, what is this little guy? Oh. I'll be darned. Rainbow trout right here. I would never have guessed I was with well, maybe. Maybe that's like a small little freshwater. Let's try right over there at the mouth of that. Maybe the water's colder or something. Might have to pull a spinner through there just to see. There we go. Yeah, I think I might have found a good spot for trout. Uh, what is... I'm not sure what I got here. It's not looking like a rainbow trout. It's definitely not a bass. Doesn't look like a pike. It's real long. And he's one hell of a fighter. Damn. They've also added a few new species since I've been here last. And they'd have at least trout here. What in the name of God? That's a pike of some kind, but what's a musky? He's so dark. Damn near black. Huh. It's not what I was expecting. Of course, I really didn't know what to expect, actually. It's the second time they've done that. It's right next to the damn boat. It might be another one of those muskies. I'm not sure. Looks like it might be. The way it's fighting, it must be. Good God. <laughs> oh, I like his coloration. Tiger musky. Not much going on the buzz bank. Let's. Check these spinners. I want to see if see if we can't scare up another rainbow.
There we go. Oh my god, what is that? Whatever that is, guys, that is a big fish. What in the world is that? Hold on just a second. Okay, I got him. Whatever he is. Oh my god. It's a huge catfish. It's a channel cap. But Lord, 26 pounds? And that's still not a trophy. Huh. Alright guys, not a bad day. Couple of trophies. Still didn't get a name one though. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Sim World Pro. So until then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye bye.